Hi, friends, and welcome to our science lesson this week. Last week, we started talking a little bit about penguins. Hopefully, you did the assignments on the website. We've been learning about Arctic animals and Antarctica, and those are two different places we're going to discuss a little today. But also, we've been learning about penguins. And today I want to talk about penguins, but I also want to introduce you to puffins. And then we're going to do a compare and contrast activity at the end that I'm going to show you how to do. And that's going to be your homework assignment for this week, okay? And I'm going to be grading that for our science lesson. So I want you to get ready to have some fun learning about penguins and puffins and make sure you pay attention because you're going to need to know about penguins and puffins for our assignment at the end, okay? We've been learning about the world. We learned about our map. We learned about, we live in North America and the United States right there, United States of America. We have South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia, Antarctica is down here at the bottom. So Antarctica is down here in the south. And up here above Canada and North in United States of America and Mexico and North America, up here is the Arctic, okay? The Arctic Ocean. It's also over here above Europe and above Asia, okay? So we're going to be learning about our north and our south today. I'm going to share some stuff with you. So give me a second to get my screen ready. All right, hopefully you can see my screen. We started learning about Arctic and Antarctica, and this is on our website from last week. So I wanted to go over this with you. The Arctic is in the North Pole. It is the Earth's largest biome and home to polar bears, the Arctic fox, walruses, seals, whales, and many people. It is also the only place where you will find a narwhal. A narwhal is like the unicorn of the ocean. But did you know that there are no penguins in the Arctic? Instead of penguins, there's an animal called a puffin. And we're going to learn about puffins today. So down here, we have some polar bears. Okay, there's seal. Now, Antarctica is a continent located in the South Pole. North is at the top, South is at the bottom. Antarctica is actually a desert. It's very dry. It is the driest and coldest place on Earth made mostly of ice. People do not live in Antarctica for year round. It is home to penguins, the snow patrol, which is the snowbird, and seals. Few plants or animals can survive because it's so dry and cold. So scientists go to visit there, but they don't live there the whole year. And there's some penguins. So then down here, you learned about the life cycle of penguins. And I have a new video for you to watch this week where you can actually watch a baby penguin being born. So the penguin starts as an egg. Penguins lay one or two eggs at a time and the mother and father take turns keeping the egg warm for about 40 days. That's a little over a month. When they're born, they're called chicks. A baby penguin is a chick. They are blind when they're first born. They can't see yet and they're kept warm and they are fed fish by their mommy and daddies. After they start to grow a little bigger, they're called a fledgling. And now they have to learn how to go get food on their own in the ocean. And then eventually they grow up to become an adult. So I wanna show you a little video about penguins. This is about a little baby chick. Now on the website, there's one for you to watch of the chick being born, but this is once the chick's born, we're gonna watch it getting ready to take its first steps. Let me turn my volume up. Right, so hopefully you remember watching 
about penguins from last week on the website. So I wanna show you a little video about puffins, and then we're gonna talk and compare and contrast penguins and puffins. Okay, let me hide this so we don't see it. So these are puffins. Can you say puffin? Good job. Puffins. Puffins might look like penguins, but they're totally different birds. Puffins are sometimes called sea clowns because they look extra silly. Their Latin name is Fratercula arctica, which means little brother of the north. This helps distinguish them from penguins too. Penguins live in Antarctica, all the way at the bottom of the earth, while puffins live up north in the Arctic Ocean and northernmost parts of the Atlantic Ocean. 60% of the world's puffins live near Iceland. Puffins can fly. They're so cute. They have waterproof feathers that help them stay warm in the cold sea water. In fact, most of the year, puffins live directly on the water. Puffins make a sort of growling sound. Did you know puffins mate for life? That's right. When a puffin is between the ages of three and five, they typically choose another puffin to be their partner for life. Puffins can carry multiple fish in their beaks at one time, and they bring those fish to their puffin baby several times a day. Yum. Puffins aren't endangered right now, but that doesn't mean they don't still need help. Their habitats are threatened by pollution and overfishing. Puffins are awesome. What's your favorite thing about puffins? So let's talk about puffins and penguins a little bit. I'm going to share a different screen with you, so give me just a second. All right, hopefully you can hear me and see my screen. Penguins and puffins. We're gonna talk about some ways that they are the same and some ways that they are different. So first we have a picture of a penguin and then we have a picture of a puffin. There are 17 different kinds of penguins but there are only four different kinds of puffins. Penguins live in the Southern Hemisphere down in Antarctica, okay, in the South. Puffins live in the Northern Hemisphere. Puffins live in the Arctic. So penguins live in Antarctica. Puffins live in the Arctic. Penguins cannot fly but look, puffins can fly. There's a puffin flying. Even though they're both birds, penguins don't fly. They can run, they can jump, they can slide, but puffins can fly like birds can. Depending on the type of penguin, they can weigh up to 60 pounds. That may be as much or more than some of you weigh, but puffins, only weigh over a pound. Puffins are really little and don't weigh very much. Penguins are big and weigh a lot more. Both penguins and puffins are black and white. So they're both black and white. They have the same colors. And look, they both have white bellies. That's something that's the same. Both penguins and puffins are becoming endangered species. This means that there are less and less of them and we need to really do what we can to protect them because if we don't protect them, they could disappear and become extinct, which means we won't have them anymore. Both of them live in groups. Look how you can see all the penguins on the ice and on the rocks, all the puffins. So they like to live in big groups. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that, friends, excuse me. So they live in groups. Groups of penguins are called colonies. Groups of puffins are called circuses. Now, remember in the video, she said they kind of look like a clown because they're kind of silly. 
So circus and clown, you can remember that for puffin, and then penguins live in colonies, but they both live in groups. They both have webbed feet. Look at their little feet. Look at how their skin that is in between their toes, okay? That's called webbed feet. It helps them to swim. They both swim. Both of them have the same mate for life, which means they find a girl or a boy, depending on what they are, like mommy and daddy, and they fall in love and they stay married their whole life and they have little babies together, okay? So isn't that so sweet? There's mommy and daddy penguin, and there's a mommy and daddy puffin. Both penguins and puffins have a beak, and look, they're both kind of orangish. Do you see how they both have beaks? A penguin's beak is small compared to the size of its body, but a puffin's beak is large. So they both have beaks, but penguins' beaks are smaller and puffins' beaks are bigger. A baby penguin is called a chick. You know, a little chick like in the video we watched. A baby puffin is called a puffling. Can you say puffling? So we have chicks and we have pufflings. All right. So I'm gonna show you on my board what you're gonna do for your assignment. I want you to do this on a piece of paper though. So you're gonna get a piece of paper and a pencil. We're gonna do something called a Venn diagram. So we are gonna draw two circles, kind of big circles. And if you need an adult to help you, you can. And they're gonna kind of overlap in the middle, okay? Now, let me fix this circle a little bit. You're gonna do this on paper, or if you wanna do it on your board, that's fine, but mommy or daddy or someone has to take a picture and send it to me, because this is your assignment, okay? So on one side, we're gonna write penguin, P-E-N-G-U-I-N. And on the other side, we're gonna write puffin, P-U-F-F-I-N. In. Okay, so we're going to do in this circle things that are just about penguins. In this circle, things that are just about puffins. And in the middle, things that are both. Okay, and you can either write words or you can draw pictures. Now, right away, I know that both penguins and puffins have a beak. And they have an orange beak, right? Well, I don't have an orange marker right now, but maybe you have an orange and you can draw an orange beak and color it in and put that in both. Or you could write orange beak. Okay. Let's see, we know that penguins can't fly. So I'm gonna write, they can't fly. And puffins can fly. So I'm going to write can fly. And I don't want you to copy this. I just want you to watch because then I want you to do this on your own at home as an assignment to compare and contrast. Okay. So let's see something else about penguins. <gasps> penguins live in the South in Antarctica. So I'm going to write South. Puffins live in the North in the Arctic. So I'm going to write North. Okay, or maybe you wanna draw Antarctica and Arctic, or maybe you wanna do an arrow down for South and an arrow up for North. You can draw pictures too. Let's see, penguins and puffins both live in groups. So in the middle, I'm gonna write groups, or maybe you wanna draw a group of penguins or a group of puffins, okay? And you can draw them being all together. Let's do one more for each of them and one more together. And then I'll let you guys get your paper or your board and get started on this, okay? So what was something else we learned that was different about penguins and about puffins? Or something the same. Oh, yes. They have webbed feet. So I can draw their webbed feet. They both have webbed feet. That's something that's the same. 
What's something that was different about them? Oh, penguins were bigger. So I'm gonna write big and puffins are little. So I'm gonna write our sight word little. There are a lot more things that we learned and you can go back to watch the video. You can look at the books and the information on the website, but I want you to get your paper or board and I want you to compare and contrast penguins and puffins. We're talking about how they're different and how they're the same in the middle. And remember, you can write words, you can draw pictures, and then I want someone to send me a picture or I want you to show me in Zoom so I can see that you did this because I'm going to grade it and I'm going to, excuse me, I'm going to give you points just for completing it and trying your best. It doesn't have to look perfect. It doesn't have to have the words spelled right. I just want to see that you tried and that you were thinking about penguins and puffins, okay? So that is your assignment. That's what I want you to do. Have fun this week. And I can't wait to see what you learned about penguins and about puffins. Don't forget on the website to look and check out the live cam video I put on there to see penguins live at the Kansas City Zoo. You can watch what they do during the day, see them swim and talk and hang out in their groups of friends. All right, everyone, thank you for doing science with me. I will see you soon.